Details now. A robbery suspect armed with a knife who allegedly got into a bloody struggle with the convenience store owner is only 15 years old. He and the victim are still in the hospital today. The attack happened at Town Market in Kenmore, just down the street from City Hall. That is where Cairo 7's Allison Grandy is live right now. And Allison, the store has not reopened since that attack. Monique, the owners are a husband and wife, and they take turns working here. Tonight, he's in serious condition at Harborview, and the loyal customers are coming, leaving cards and flowers. All of them are horrified. That suspect is only 15. I just wanted to come and show that we care about them. We met Krista Daniels as she left flowers outside Town Market in Kenmore. I come here daily, and I talk to Sue and Jacob every day, and um, we shoot the breeze every day, and... She's, they're the sweetest people in the world, and I, it just breaks my heart. Investigators say a 15 year old armed with a knife stabbed the owner yesterday afternoon. He was just screaming, Help me, help me, you know, just repeatedly screaming that. Stephen DeGroote is homeless and is camping out behind the store. He ran inside to help. I went in there and seen all the blood everywhere and all the stuff thrown everywhere, and the store owner was fighting with the guy, and, uh, I got behind the, the counter and I pinned the guy down. The store owner was critically injured and rushed to Harborview. So was the teenage suspect. Brian Cho is the owner's brother in law. I was in shock. I mean, I was getting better, but I was kind of shaking. Detectives thought the motive was robbery. Today, they aren't so sure. They do know DeGroote was a hero. You can see a homeless man who is, you know, has nothing and he's going to run and save, but then you have a 15 kid, year old kid who has the world in his hands and, you know, it's too. Two different kinds of worlds, you know, colliding, and it's kind of, it's just, it's nuts. It's absolutely insane. That 15 year old was taken from here to Harborview tonight. He's also in serious condition. He's being guarded by deputies from the King County Sheriff's Office, and when he's well enough, he'll be booked into the King County Jail. In Kenmore, Allison Grandy, Cairo 7 News. This is the fifth attack at a local convenience store in the past week. And now there's a reward in this deadly one in Edmonds. Surveillance video shows a man running into the store last Friday and jumping onto the counter. Minutes later, investigators say that man shot and killed the clerk, Nahandram Kanthasamy. The 7 Eleven Corporation is offering $10,000 for information leading to an arrest, and Crime Stoppers is offering another $1,000 reward.